the interest was really picked up and, and um, you know, they do a lot of good work with when Wayne Solomon is the coach and he does really good with them. And, and, um, but like I said, I've been through the whole, been through the, system. the whole little thing with no fences, no lights, no games are over because it's dark, you know. Sometimes that might um, be good, give you a break. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, you know, like I said, he's in eighth grade now, and that's how I got nominated. But if you want pop tags, we can do well, that too. <laughs> well, it's something we started just recently last year. We thought, well, we'd try to help yeah. Donald out. So um, it's not a requirement, we just suggest. Well, I'm a member of him, I'm on the club too, and we say them. Um, okay. Has anybody else, uh, um, are you? This money here goes for these two items you have here, uh, right. and the school, the parents, or anybody else helping do anything? As or? far as I know, from what I've been told, um, no, that's it. Um, of course, we, as far as equipment, we got quite a bit of new equipment last year from the school, and you know we still have that, right. uh, that and which are really expensive, um, uh, different things like that. But um, to my knowledge, that is what we need to um, have our thing. <laughs> All money's important. Yours does seem small compared to the other. But it's, I know. <laughs> uh, but it looks like Right, right I don't know who contacted you and gave you that amount, but that was uh, from the cheapest place that Wayne had, yeah. you know, gotten a hold of that could get us. I know the very first uniforms that were bought were more expensive than yeah. Um, we have the letter that said 1125 and that's the reason I put $1125 on the agenda. So I, do yeah, I don't even know who wrote the letter. Like I said, there was supposed to be more with me here tonight. I don't know what happened. Um, I dropped my son off at practice. That's where they're all at. And Wayne said, are you going to the commission meeting? I suggest he went to me. <laughs> so, you know, right, well. anything, you know, if that's what they said then. But, you know, I do know that that's why he gave me that. I assume was told to you all, you know, I don't know. Well, and uh, these prices, maybe, maybe we'll give less, maybe more, but uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I added up to $1,668.50. I don't know if that's correct or not. Pretty close. 15, 15, 15, 15. So if we gave you $1,500, that would. Okay. Right. Do we have a motion? So moved. I'll second that. Fifteen hundred dollars to the uh, school. We know how much money we got left to get other people stuff. I mean, we have some idea. We don't have a bus to do when the meeting starts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure once you know we go through these, I know there's a bunch of other people that are saying, well, if they got this, you know, I don't want us to run out. You know, I guess. It, whoever asked first, but we'd like to try to make sure that we've got enough in case someone else would ask. Me. To my knowledge, even from Nathan five years up, this is the first time that you know, any team that he's been associated with or any, you know, anyone has ever asked for the commission rent or you know, anything as far as uniforms go. Um, Chad Pink, that was mentioned a while ago, he bought quite a few uniforms, you know, he sponsored it. He sponsored uh, my first team two or three years in a row and had new uniforms every year. Um, he's been only good to his community. Um, of course, his sister in law was first time was on the team. <laughs> that didn't hurt, but you know, he really has helped, you know, helped a lot. But, um, to my knowledge, this is the first time that, you know, we've. Well, I think it is probably, and I agree that uh, the 
coppers probably are getting close to low, uh, and I guess it's, it's hard to, we don't really set a budget, we do budget an amount, but uh, these two, uh, we spend some big money, but we have one option, we, we spend to the run out, and then we have to decide <coughs> if we're going to put in more money in, if we got any more to put in from some source. So. So we're getting close to it. Now we get the next item over with, I think we're <laughs> close to the bottom. But you've got your 50 here, I guess, if we got I'm just a make motion. I'm going to get budget revisions next meeting. <laughs> we got a motion in a second, I did. We didn't call for a vote, I don't think. I didn't write it down. Okay. Is that an all yes vote? Motion carries. Now, what you need to do is work with Judy here as far as getting a purchase order. That way we can run through and not have to pay taxes and that kind of thing. If you need something different from this, we'll probably take it from this, probably. If that's all right, you guys. Yeah. Well, it's just a thought, too, of big people playing baseball. You guys can all get together, you know what I'm saying, and purchase these things at one time. I'm sure you'd get a better price on them. You know, just think about it. I don't know if that's possible to do or not, but you know. What these things? Yeah, what I'm saying is if you've got all across the county, you know, there's kids going to need jerseys and things like that. And if we knew ahead of time how many would need them and things like that, and then you'd approach these sports places with that number, they'd give you a lot better deal across yeah. the county for them and things. It's just something true. to think about. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next thing on the agenda is we received a letter from uh, Ryan Sachs, who is uh, an agriculture teacher at Lincoln County High School, and they're trying to do some uh, landscaping at the Lincoln County High School, and he's requesting some funds. Um, the existing landscaping maintenance is $2,000. $425 and then landscaping improvement additions is 150 pear trees, 20 blooming Cleveland pear trees. And that's an amount of $3,000. The total requested funding was $5,425. I put down the amount we put the agenda together, the $3,000, but uh, I'll be better for discussion. Now, now this has nothing to do with the other monies that the, um, for, uh, the extension aid is going to ask for. Them, for no. Uh, 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 she's got her budget in there for us to look at money. Yeah, it's uh, 3000 or something like that, more than last year or something like that. Well, that. that's pretty expensive per tree, ain't it? $150? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I think they're pretty, and I thought, uh, you know, I've got some planted, and I, most of the ones I get are, you know, around 70 to 100, but I mean, those are pretty big. But you want a motion for that? Or? Yeah. Maybe you could do the same thing as uh, we have, issue a purchase order to buy the 150 pear trees. You know, well, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's for 20 not, trees, 20, 20, 20 trees for $150. <laughs> 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 we get that for $3,000, it'd be a good deal. <laughs> Maybe we can, and then we can share in the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, next thing on the agenda is Mr. Bowman is requesting some funds for the Lincoln County Library Fund. Okay. Motion carries. 